Hello guys, welcome to my desk, Tita's Red Desk. This channel is about Bible journaling, arts and crafts, unboxing and enjoying the important things in life. Remember, always smile, be good to yourself and others. Remember that a smile is free and it can change someone's day. Today, I want to start this video by thanking God for everything great that he does. And I want to share this new product uh, with you guys. These are the hmm, Tombow dual brush pens. And these are very popular in the Bible journaling community. Uh, this one has four, eight, nine. There's a brush there. Let's open it, see what this is about. Uh, but I've heard great things about it, about the ink. I know they're water-based. Here it is, water-based, blendable uh, brush and fine tip in one pen. So let's get to it. Um, on the back, it says that it has two tips, a brush and like a pen kind of tip. A high-quality, flexible nylon fiber brush and a fine bullet bullet gosh tip resilient nylon brush retains its point stroke after stroke water-based ink blends color easily all right and then it's in French here here it says that is uh, it comes in 96 different colors which I'm pretty sure I saw somewhere on, on Amazon but this is what I got this this set is not these are not cheap i can tell you that you can get them uh, with a 40 percent discount on hobby lobby but these are not the cheapest brush uh, pens that you can get so um, my daughter did this for me so i could test the colors here so cute uh, so let's let's get to it okay so here we have a yellow. Let me see this. Yes, they have a numeration here. This one is 055. And it says it's made in Vietnam. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, nice. Okay, that's that tip. That's that tip. Okay, it's not that this tip right here is not as thin as a micron pen because I think people might be confused about that. Um, this, there's a micron pen here. This one is 005. So you can compare these things. These are in no way similar. Okay. People, oh, what am I doing? People use this for lettering, this ones, and even coloring. I'm planning to use this uh, to color some drawings that I have in vellum for the Bibles. Okay, let's get to the next color orange. That one is very rich. And that's, that's the line that you get with the, um, the thin side of it. Let's do red, which I would call more like a burgundy than a red. I was expecting since this set is, uh, let's see, I think this is called the Bright. I'm looking for the name of this specific set. I believe I order Brights or I thought I ordered primary, but this looks like, this is definitely not primary red. I think I might be confused. 
it's a it's a deeper red a warmer red okay let's try this green uh, it says green here i'm following my daughter's graph here okay that's that it's like a christmas tree red kind of mm. And then let's do the dark green, which looks teal to me on the cap, but let's see. Yeah, this is definitely a dark teal. Let me see this side. It looks... It's like a combination between hunter green and teal it's not exactly the same color of the cap but yeah let me make let me see it under my light here yeah, it's more like it's more like a hunter green definitely maybe a hint of teal in there Let's do blue, which should be, this is like a royal blue. And she made a box for me here named purple. Let's see if this is a purple. Yes, it is. Okay. trying to see if you can get different thickness depending on how you place how you hold it. You, I see like two different right here like this one I was able to make it uh, get a thicker line than here just by like if I go like this straight that's what I get and if I come here on the side, then that looks the same. What did I do before? That's interesting. Well, I guess applying less pressure, get a thinner line, but there's not much more difference that you can get actually. Okay, let's get to the brown. Dark brown. I think I want a primary color. I'm not sure this is primary. This is black, of course. And here we have a brush, which I am going to this is a water brush, is it? Let's see. To be honest with you, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with this one. I think this is the brush for you to use it with watercolors because I'm not getting any colors out of it. I don't think there's any ink in this one. no I'll figure it out okay so this is it this is the set it's definitely the primary primary 
yeah primary palette uh, maybe what I need is the secondary then because I'm looking for other maybe muted more muted colors I didn't like the red I would like a more maybe with a little bit more yellow to it um, but now that it's dry let's see I can definitely see that they are yes they, they are primary the blue yes the only one I'm not too happy but I'm I am very particular with my reds I am obsessed with the red color kind of so I'm very particular with the red and there is like a red I don't like and I just don't like it um, let's see like, can you compare these here that red with that red I have a lot of red things guys even my, look, my sharpener is red I have an agenda here is red <laughs> so now you get the name of the channel Tita's Red Desk I love red anyways um, I hope I was able to show you the product or uh, whatever you wanted to see about it and I will leave a link down below if you want to see this particular combination these pens come in different sets like I said they're not cheap you can get them cheap um, if you find a good discount on one of those uh, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, uh, I think Joan Fabrics as well. Um, I actually saw Amazon having um, open boxes, uh, like what the kind of things that they sell from the warehouse, I'm assuming returns, um, for like a few dollars less, but I'm, I'm not sure and I haven't, I have bought open boxes of other things from Amazon, but never crafts so i don't i don't know what the deal is when you buy in those conditions anyways thank you so much for your time if you have any questions please write them in the comment section and i will make sure i get back to you thank you so much god bless